So, um, so not that I'm calling you like a bad teacher or anything. Mm -hmm. But should I have started with the adventure guide of what they recommend I do? In this video, I'm learning everything I can about how to get back into World of Warcraft as someone who's no idea what's going on. Let's kick this thing off. Online games are tough to keep up with these days because they're they're always evolving, they're always changing. You stop playing for a few months and suddenly it's it's almost brand new. It's like you've never played before. So in this series, I find an expert to help me freshen up on what the deal is so I can hop right into the good stuff. And I'm passing those tips right on to you. Today's expert is my inspiration for all things competitive gaming, my little bro, who made the grave mistake of looking to World of Warcraft when he probably should have been playing Final Fantasy XI. But today, that's going to be incredibly valuable. So quick background. I've dabbled at WoW a fair number of times, but never made it to the end game dungeon or raiding scene. Uh, I picked up Battle for Azeroth on launch and, and leveled through the story up to 120, the cap at the time, and, and basically just kind of stopped. So I'm sitting on a fresh 120, no gear, and I'm wondering what's up with WoW these days, so I, I where do I take myself now? Some cool stuff is coming up in the future, including a level squish with the, the next expansion, so I'm kind of interested in getting back into the scene before that hits, so I'm not like totally surprised again when the new stuff comes to play. So, I'm 120. Yep. I level 308. I and have I have world quests unlocked. Whatever that they is. Show up on your, did they show up on your map? Like yeah. when you open your map? Um, what item level do you get from doing those? It should say when you hover over them. Uh, yeah, let's see. So this guy right around... Why? Sometimes they don't give gear. Okay, so yeah, this guy is... Uh, Grants 295 artifact power to your heart of Azeroth. All right, I can skip that, really. This you guy... Gear for now. This is oh. uh, item level 325, chest armor. Yeah, so that would be an upgrade. 450 then, artifact power to your heart of Azeroth. That's a dungeon world quest. The, uh, what about the bottom left of your map? There should be a little rewards for doing like four of them or something. It could be helpful. Yeah, so I have the champions of Azeroth. The Unshackled, yeah, and Talanji's Tal Expedition. I did a couple of these last night because they they seem to be way higher than what I was. So, right. Champions of Azeroth will get me three thousand artifact power to my Heart of Azeroth. Yeah, uh, the Unshackled requires further advancement in the Naz Najdatar campaign. Nashatar is like another island um, that they was like in one of the like newer patches in BFA, but it, so um, yeah, are there like some quests I should be doing right at cap that unlock um, stuff for me? Yeah, there's like a, there's some quest lines you could start. Um, like the the new patch now, like eight point patch eight point three. I'm I'm still in the quest line now. Um, it's like the corruption stuff that's going on because i'm pretty sure you can just jump right into it but the one thing is that it might be hard to kill the things because your item or your gear is there anything i should be focusing on outside of raising my eye level at the moment not really i'd say just like we'll get some more gear and then like once you get some more gear we could just you could start those quest lines probably because i think if you start the quest line for the newest patch now it might be hard to do some of the stuff but once you get to like 400 eye level or 380, you should be fine. Okay. Um, so it looks like this Najatar quest line might start on the boat, which would make sense. Yeah. A lot of that stuff yeah. starts there. Yeah. What? Yeah. Exactly. Wow. That one is a short quest line that just gets you there, so that wouldn't be a bad thing to just run through real quick. Um, Let me go see if I have. Oh, I guess what's the name of the quest? War Can you Order. do heroic dungeons or no? Um, go to group finder uh, yeah group finder dungeon finder the normal ones dungeon. give you like 400 gear some of them how do i hmm, so how do i see what i'm capable of um what is what is it when you take like specific dungeons in the like drop down menu in the group finder okay yep um what what do you see is there anything crossed out, or is there any? Everything's locked under Battle for Azeroth Heroic, so that's what you're asking. Okay. About. So yeah, I'm still yeah. locked out of Heroic. I need okay. 365. So, okay. So I think the dun the normal dungeon gear, let's see, gives like 400 gear. Okay. Oh so, wow, really? Okay. Yeah. Um. So we could just do some random 
normal dungeons, and that could be good for you as well. You get some gear from that too. So, Nathanos Blightcaller doesn't have a quest for me, so I wonder if I already have it. Send the fleet? Perhaps, yeah. Let me see. Yeah, that's the second It's the second quest in this quest line. All right. So, I, I have that. We can, we can do that at some point. But, yeah, do you want to... So, I guess, do you want to do dungeon first or these open world quests Um, for my daily four? Let's knock out the world quest first. All right, so I've got to go to yeah. Talanji's expedition and just do stuff in Nazmir. I'm assuming because I can do the other two that I completed some sort of quest at some point. Uh, is it important for me to level up my Heart of Azeroth? Like, should I keep doing these even after the... Yeah, the Heart good? of Azeroth, yeah. Because that's like your neck piece or whatever. Yeah. So will that Things. eye level keep going up? It, it See, when you hit like your character... Uh, yeah. Gear. So like my. It's like, what level is it? It's 308. Oh, but I guess that's my eye level. Gotcha. My uh, like mine's level 55. It just like I think the max is 80 on it. So, How yeah, do you, you see the level of the heart itself? Oh, it should just say it right on the neck, like on in your character screen. Oh, I guess mine's 15. Yeah, but like it'll level up really fast once you start doing some of these quests because it gives you like super artifact power thing like rewards like it just it'll level up quick so is it similar to 14 where if my eye level is good and like there's a dungeon available to me go for it um yeah but if the, for dungeons like dungeons are a good way to gear up yeah i more meant like is it gonna say oh you're totally good but then i'm not totally good no, you'll be fine. The dungeons really aren't hard, unless you're doing like the mythic difficulty or whatever. So now I gotta. Where do I hand that in? I forget. Um, it should be by Zul John Ruin, or no? It should be. Oh, yep, Talanji's expedition. Is that right? So yeah, you totally were. You nailed that. Oh, nice flight timing. Yeah, we're on the ride together. <laughs> Why is yours like slightly faster? It keeps speeding up. I don't know. I keep getting slightly farther away. What? Yeah. <laughs> What's wrong with yours? I'm like taking those corners a little bit harder. Yeah. <laughs> so what is what is the general flow here? World quests, dungeons. World quests, dungeons. Um. Yeah, I would start or just get that Najatar thing done. So that also opens up options for gear. A couple more options, like a couple more world quests you could do. Okay. Um, and there's also PvP, I'm pretty sure it gives you gear. Oh, uh, there's a way for me to see, like, what should I be doing now? Yeah, adventure guide, is that what it is? Yeah. Suggested content, yeah, that's what it is. Um, okay, so, adventure guide, suggested content, there's Brawl, Hot Mo Mogu. Hot, yeah, the, the Hot Mogu. Yeah, um, I haven't done that yet either. We could probably queue for that as well right now. Okay. At the same time. Whoa, what's, uh, what's up with... What's time walking? Time walking. Oh, wait. Can you do that? Black Temple time walking drops item level 445 gear. I see that. It just says, it says I can click find group. Click it. <laughs> what happens? It takes me to the dungeon finder again. Should I leave this queue? We're only three minutes in. Yeah, yeah, let's, try Let's it. see what this does. All right, hang on. I, that can't be real. Find a group, and then, so I'm under pre-made groups. That's what you're thinking, right? Yeah, click on Raid's Legacy, and then hit Find Group after you do that. Okay, and then, like, a bunch pop up. Yeah, so you would look for Black Temple Time Walking, right? Oh, okay, I see. This isn't a free pass. If you start not pulling your weight, I will kick you into last week. Okay, probably don't. They seem like fun. They seem fun. They. <laughs> what about Black Temple on Illidan? Um, I don't know how like hard this is. I don't either. Is yeah, it... I mean, tr just go for it. <laughs> they can just kick us if they. So there's how many people are in this? It says thirteen DPS, three healers, two tanks. So sign up for that because I don't. I did. We signed up. Oh, they have to like accept us, I think. Okay. So they might not accept us. <laughs> okay, so we'll see what happens. <laughs> So, um, so not that I'm calling you, like, a bad teacher or anything, 
Mm -hmm. But should I have started with the adventure guide of what they recommend I do? No, not necessarily. What does it tell you to do? Brawl Hot Magu? <laughs> no, that's just telling you the new content that's out. Oh, okay. Um, but that's that's a uh, a battleground. That's PvP. Um, but it gives you a piece of gear, so it might be good something good to do. But pretty sure the queue is still. Uh, yeah, still, it's still it still says pending. I'm pending my acceptance, I guess. Oh yeah, they uh. Go. <laughs> they, they didn't agree. Yeah, just do um sign up for a dungeon and the hot mogu thing. Join his group. Yeah, yeah. You must select at least one role. You gotta hit DPS yep. at the top. There we go. And then also start a dungeon queue because they're like the same. You can do the both. That's kind of yeah. Cool. Uh, so back to random bat dungeon for battle for Azeroth. Yep. So did you get rejected from the queue? Mm-hmm. So they didn't even like your amazing progress? No, I don't think I'm high oh, enough for them either. I uh. I fell in the water. Oh. Um, so there's also, if you hit H, um, and you look at the top, like, little progression bar at the top of the menu. Yep. And look at the item it gives you. What does it say? Uh, it'll give me 440 Corrupted Gladiator Spellblade. That's, I mean, that's pretty Yeah, sweet. so, yeah, so each, so random battlegrounds, if you win, you get 40 conquests. And, um, oh yeah, we could just do that. So if I do that... So we're doing arena right now. This is going to be 2v2 or 3v3. Wait, did you do you... that? No, you just did that. Oh, whoops. So does that take us out of... No, we're still in the queue no, for the other thing, too. we're still in queue. So we could be doing those. The only thing is you might get dumpstered. <laughs> uh, actually, I'm... <laughs> is it, like, guaranteed that I'm going to get rocked here? It's just because you have no health. Oh, that's arena the... skirmish. So this is like what? Like a 2v2? Or 3v3. It's just because I don't even have a lot of health, and 130k is very little <laughs> HP. <laughs> Do I get any points for losing? Um, No. But Unclear. You... No, yeah, you didn't get points for losing. But that's how I, I geared up my guy. Me and my friend did a bunch of like 2v2s, and you get like 50 conquests for winning, and then you get those rewards every like 500 uh conquest all right so i see so there's there's a couple couple paths you, i can take once you get to heroics heroic dungeons i think you might have a little easier of a time is that like the best path once that's available well the dun the queues aren't as long um, yeah yeah it just pulls up the desire lore map yeah. oh wait no 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 it's yeah it's over here to the, the bottom left it's just really tiny <laughs> Oh, crap. Ooh, that was, oh, that was, that was a big jump. That, just was, made a little, that was a little dicey. I got a little little hairy there. I feel like get... we're in trouble here. So should I maybe uh, switch to we're the definitely in trouble here. Imp That's or the okay. Fell Hunter? They're, uh, I think they're just toying with me. They're just like not even acknowledging yeah, yeah. that I exist. But check, yeah, out, that, did, check out that damage done, though. I mean, yeah. but they didn't touch me. They're just like, they just Spam let me... Chaos bolts. <laughs> they just let me do my thing because they're like, whatever, this guy sucks. A better, if you're doing PvP, maybe do. Your survival. Probably better do like a battleground because that way you can just try to get people to carry. <laughs> That's what I do sometimes. I mean, I appreciate the honesty there. I mean, I, I, I the arenas are hard because people are like, you're going against people that are geared. And it's just hard to beat people that aren't. Yeah, I, I get that. I mean, you held your own there for a while against two guys like taking you on. Yeah, but I didn't really know what I was doing either. I haven't PvP'd in a... Alright, dude, the... this was awesome. Yeah. I, I've learned okay. I've learned much about the ways of the World of Warcraft. Oh, yeah. We're gonna get I'm ra down to play whenever. Yeah, we should get raid ready. Oh, yeah. What, what's raid ready? 425? For, like, the normal raid? It's a good question. If you were... So, I can run... You can run LFR for the most current raid at like 400 something all right man well yeah i'll try to do this uh time walk thing tomorrow maybe i can get up to 365 we can do some heroics definitely yeah might check it out too cool dude
All right. Sounds good. Later. Later. See ya. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in more videos like this, think about subscribing. And if you already have, don't forget to click that little bell next to the sub button to get notified when new videos go live. Hit me up in the comments with your thoughts on this video, or come hang out and chat with me on Twitch every Tuesday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And definitely look me up on Twitter or Instagram and Hunt for Games to keep up with what else I've got going on. See ya!